What's up guys, Harsh here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can control an OLED display. So as you can see that this is an I2C OLED display and it's currently running an example from the Arduino sketch. So today I'll be showing you how you can control this via the Arduino. So this is a pretty simple setup. As you can see that there is only one connection required. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have mounted my OLED display on my tiny little breadboard. So this will make the connections a bit easier. So as you can see that there are a total of four pins. That is the ground, VCC, SCL and SDA. So let's connect the power first. So we will take the ground and connect it to the ground of the Arduino. Just like that. Then we'll take our VCC and power it via the 5 volts of the Arduino. So on the Arduino 5 volts as you can see it's right next to the ground. Right over there. So we'll connect that. Now for the SCL and SDA, we'll connect the SCL pin to analog pin 5 of the Arduino. So analog pin is right over here the analog 5 pin and then the SDA pin will go to analog input 4 of the Arduino so as you can see that this is all that we need to connect so now we can go ahead and connect our Arduino to the laptop and program it so that we can display the text but uh, before we do that we need to find the address of this I2C display first because that's an important thing to do when you're using i2c devices so first we'll find the address and then we'll upload the code okay so now let's find the address by using the code and i have given this code in the description you can check that out so here is the code that we need to upload so we'll just go to tools select our board which is arduino uno and select our com port which is com5 and this might be different in our case and then once that's selected we can just simply go ahead and click on upload so as you can see it has done uploading now we can open up the serial monitor by going to tools and clicking on serial monitor and this will actually show us the address so as you can see that the address that is found is 0x3c so we will use this address for our displays in the code on which we will print the data on the LCD now to actually print text or whatever on the OLED display first we will need to install the library so we will just go to sketch click on include library and then click on manage libraries this will open up this small window and here we can type in our library that we need to install so the library that we need to install is named as ssd 1306 so as you can see added fruit ssd 1306 this is the library that we need to install and as you can see it is already installed in my computer so i don't need to do anything here but in your case it will show like this so this is the install button that we need to click to install the library and once you click on it it will automatically install and then you can run your code so first let's take an example from the library itself so i'll just go to files go to examples and then select our i2c display so it is a 128 by 64 i2c display so this is the file that we need to open and if you are using the longer displays you will use these libraries over here but for now we will use this library so this will open up this another window and now as you can see that in this code there are a lot of number things written over here but uh, you can also change the screen and size over here with this also but uh, the main changes that we need to do is the address so as you can see that it is written over here screen address as 0x3d but we know that our LED has a address of 03c so we'll just change it to c and make sure that it is in capital and then once you are happy with that you can just go ahead and upload the code to the Arduino once the code is uploaded you will be able to see your animation on the OLED display and uh, this is just to check the connections of the OLED display so if it does not work from here, you need to check the connections and check the address of the OLED display. Now we can go ahead and print our custom text on the display. Okay, so this is the code that we will use to display our text on the display. 
so as you can see that I have already changed my address to 0x3c but uh, if you are registered you can change that from here then in the loop we will we can see that our main text display is there so as you can see that we have set the text size to 1 and the minimum size that you can set is 0 and then you can go on from increasing there then we have set the cursor at 0 0 that means it will start printing the text from the top left corner and then finally we have our text that we need to print on this line and you can change that in any form you like and if the text is too long for a line it will just automatically jump to the next line and print it from there so once you are happy with that you can just uh, upload the code to the Arduino and make sure that you have selected the COM port and the correct board for it so as you can see that our text is now printed on the OLED display and, and don't worry about flickering it's just the way camera sees the OLED display and in real life you will not be able to see any flicker or whatever so there you guys you have successfully printed your text on the OLED display using the Arduino so thanks for watching the video please like subscribe and share and i will see you all later